it's Armor Bricks again and we are looking at the custom Lego set. Before we will begin, I just want to say that uh, this year it was really good for the space fans because Lego finally released uh, long-awaited uh, space uh, uh, themed uh, ships, uh, sets and it's really amazing year and we are getting the Lego city, we are getting uh, Technic, we are even getting uh, friends, which is really amazing in the space theming. But here we do have uh, a mock that was created by uh, Anderson Brickart. It is uh, interstellar spaceship, uh, which consists of two sets of six zero four three zero. So you could probably notice from the front end that we we got this set uh, this year six zero four three zero, and it is uh, small, cheap, and and it's re everything is good with that set. I really like that set. But when I saw this mark from Anderson Brickart, I just decided to grab second one and to build this ship because it even has the stand. Yeah, of course we will get through. But yeah, damn, this this thing is quite big, and I don't know. I really like it. It it's a solid build. So you consume uh, two sets. There are some parts left. Uh, uh, for sure, if I'm not mistaken, uh, um, around the hundred parts that are left, but most of them are small ones. But yeah, what we have here is the two cockpits, and I will show the feature uh, soon because it has a play feature as well. So uh, the only downside that we got uh, rid of the function that was uh, for the wings uh, or for the motors uh, to, to expand at the back when it was for the original set when you push uh, uh, the batteries uh, here we lost that but we gained something else so in terms of this ship it is really noticeable we do have some engines at the back they are similar to the original one uh, we do have uh, two uh, spacemen or astronauts that are heading to the space so we do have uh, some some difficulties to access this cockpit without you know not removing this piece so keep in mind that if you will want to play around and one thing that i've noticed so far uh, although it is really sturdy when you play it but when you put it on the ground it, it is um, really with the lower back so you can easily uh, break the ship apart. So keep in mind that this uh, ship intended to be only on the stand which is also built from uh, the uh, leftovers of uh, that two sets. So let me fix the ship first and let's continue. So I easily fix that and put it on the stand just to have ability to properly work and show you the features so we do have quite a lot of things going on uh, the panels for controlling the ship and some batteries so some other clusters right here so it is really simple and it was uh, similar what was on the original ship in terms of uh, this cockpit so it, it is much easier to access this one uh, it has a bit less details uh, Probably we could treat uh, this cockpit as a main ship uh, Cockpit and this one as the one that could do some missions because if you close this one and if you would do some magic things Of course don't do it with one-handed Otherwise, you will lose all the functionality. So let me do it properly. Yes, so here it is. This is the uh, other shuttle that could do some exploration or, or whatever it needs to do in space. 
So yeah, this one could be separated and this could be as a mothership. As you can see, we lost some of the elements to hold down uh, this uh, glass piece, but this is why we do have this coverage just to uh, keep this uh, connected and, and not to lose the cockpit and uh, the astronaut would not get anything into this cockpit area. So here we do have this mothership that is fully separate and, and could uh, stay in space for some time. And yeah, this is exploration uh, craft that could do some extra things. So for playing capabilities, this is really great. I do like that how it ended up. And yeah, I really like that we do have a stand course you need to take a look uh, where to exactly put there as special places but once you get there it is sturdy uh, and it could be there so yeah uh, let me try to assemble it I will not try that to do one-handed I will fail definitely so let me connect it to the mothership it is easy connection uh, just a few uh, clicks and you are there. So overall, I'm really happy uh, with this mock and I much prefer this over the original set. Let me know uh, what do you think guys in the comments below. Do you prefer this one or you would stick to the original uh, set from LEGO? Anyhow, thank you Anders Brickhart for creating this one. Uh, the link is in the description as always. And thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and see you soon, guys. Goodbye.